Good morning. This is General Jasir Adeyemi of Army of the Lord. Just touching base with you today. Uh, I want to cover just some basic points. People are always asking me the who, the what, the where, the why, and the how of Army of the Lord. So I want to take a moment just to share that with you. First of all, the who. We are sons of God. What does that mean? The Bible tells us in John 1.12 that all that believe upon God, He's given us the ability to become the sons of God. A literal dunamis power. What does dunamis mean? It's a Hebrew word meaning um, powerful, explosive, um, connecting. So it's not just that we're receiving God's understanding of wisdom, that's great, but actually literal force inside of our bodies that can change our lives and hopefully change others. So we are the sons of God. That's who we are. Now, what we are, we are the army of the Lord. We're taking this sonship message, this ability to be men of God that we're supposed to be, we're pulling ourselves together in the army of the Lord. So we're starting here locally in Detroit, Michigan, where I'm from, and we've already have some people planning in, in uh, strategic parts of America, and right now we're recruiting. We're building the Lord's army. Uh, and any, anytime armies are built, they're designed for war. So what we're looking to do here is take the war, the spiritual battle, to the streets. The streets are being dominated by perversion, by negativity, by slothfulness, by laziness, by just impure mentalities, by low self-esteem, poverty mentalities. There are so many things that are holding us back as people that I'm getting the men of God together, crossing all racial lines, many religious lines, because it's about sonship, being a true man for your environment. So that's the army of the Lord. That's what we are. Well, people are asking us, why are we doing this? Well, obviously, because of the need in America. There's a, a atrophy all across America dealing with men. They've fallen off from their positions as leaders in many of their households and business and definitely from a spiritual standpoint. Um, as a man, we should be looked to for intellect. Uh, people should look to us for questions of God, for wisdom and revelation. That's not the case. They don't even ask us for strength anymore. <laughs> even, a, even our appearance as men as strength is lost. So that's the why. We're going to start with the men of God who already have a mindset for change, and then we're going to recruit those men who maybe right now are understanding their true position in life, their true responsibility towards other men. Well, the how. The how is that we're going to start again locally here in Detroit. I have people uh, in places around the country, and I say I because I'm a leader, but this is definitely God's work. And what we're doing is just starting a small and growing bigger and bigger and bigger until we have a snowball effect of men being excited about their responsibility level to our society, to their own environments. I'm going to ask a person from Detroit to just go to Chicago and to do this. Detroit, change Detroit. Chicago, let's change Chicago. Iowa, let's change Iowa. There's need all across America for men to stand up and be true sons of God and change their lives in everybody's direction that's around them. Well, the where. I've kind of mentioned that in talking that this is going to be an outside of the church, outside of the mass, outside of the temple, outside of the hall type of experience. What do I mean by that? This is not a message that we're going to preach to ourselves and just dance and be happy. This is a message and a type of a movement that we're actually taking our physical bodies and putting them out into the atmosphere. We're really going to start with the street corners, the bowling alleys, the uh, restaurants, the uh, public places we can go, the malls, uh, social events, parks, recreational um, Recreation events and centers. Our goal is to put men in places where the word of God is not being taught, where there's not a specific anointing for men. Because again, it's not about just our numbers. Although we're going to be unified in number, which our numbers are going to bring strength for sure, we're going to take our numbers and we're going to change the benefit to our side. Because we're going to have the quantity in the streets. But also, most important, is the quality. And that only comes by anointing. That power of God removes the burden and destroys the yoke of mankind. And we truly believe that we're first going to change ourselves, and then we're going to go out and change the whole world. Glory be to God, and God shall always get the glory. This has been the who, the what, the where, the why, and the how of Army of the Lord. This is Joshua Day and me, Army of the Lord is what we do.